All right, good morning, guys. So good morning. we're in this place here. This place. La Havre. La Havre. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's La Havre in uh, France, a city in France. Northern France. Northern France, yeah. Like literally Southampton's just over there. We're not yeah. far from there now. Apparently this is a very popular cruise port. Yeah, it's a massive port as well. Um, obviously because where it's situated, it is a nice stop off gap, I suppose, yeah. between here and, and the UK. So Southampton in particular. So. This is a late night one. You don't yes. have to be back on the boat till is it half past nine. No, it's like yeah, nine. Yeah, really late one. Yeah, because yeah. like I say, we rich really don't have to sail far tonight for no. Southampton, so they're letting you stay on. Because you can get to Paris from here. We won't be doing that. It's like two and a half hours each way. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a fair old trip. But I don't know what's here because I don't know where we're going. We've got to get a buzz. Yeah, I was gonna say this was another one where um, if you want to, you have to pay for a buzz if you want to. If you watch the Bilbao video, yeah, you saw that we weren't, and then we decided to get the buzz. And then when we brought the Bilbao uh, bus pass, we also got the one for La Havre yeah, as well. Yeah, we got double one. Looking around now, we're in like an industrial area. Yeah, and here. I can't see anywhere where you'd walk to, so I think no. really you would need to get to get the bus. But if you're not, we, yeah, gonna stay on the boat, that is. If you're not staying on the boat, <laughs> you want to explore La Havre. But yeah, we'll go. Um, we have no idea what's here, so no. you'll come with us and I know, let's go look. I know there's not a Starbucks, so we can't get a Starbucks <laughs> cup from here. Damn. Every time you get off, they're always cleaning the ship. Like, they've got machines that clean all the windows on the balconies and stuff. It is a spotless ship. Oh. They do a tours. I think these are off-site tours. A little bit pricey. It's, holy cow, it's 460 euros to go to Montclair. That's still as much as we pay for the So we just got off the buzz, same as uh, Bilbao, you get on the buzz where you got off the buzz. Uh, we, oh, we could see the ship, the ship is just down that street there. Uh, we only noticed it because there was like a multicoloured uh, shipping container, statue kind of looking thing. But when you do uh, like catch the the buzz, there's like always like an MSC worker when you get off the buzz. Yeah, with an orange like, t-shirt. Yeah and they'll just explain where you catch the bus back and any questions about kind of get off, where do I go? Like they recommend places and things like that. Or there's like extra excursions on top that you could buy if you wanted to. But they're just so, honestly, like even them, the MSC like staff, they're just absolutely amazing, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, the, the guy, when we got off the bus, <laughs> we saw him the other day in La Caroon. It was his day off, he was going to get his hair cut. Yeah. And we were just talking to him and he, he recognises, he recognised us last night in the buffet because he said, did you, did you like me hair cut? That's <laughs> what I love about cruises as well so far. It's like all the staff, like it's so multicultural, like, yeah. Because obviously like we love travelling and things, like you just speak to people from like Indonesia, like the Philippines, like I think he was, he was Mexican, from Mexican, yeah. Yeah, and I, I just like that because, yeah, as one said, one guy said, didn't he, yesterday that the colours of the rainbow are all beautiful because they're different. And he says, and that's the same with people. I have to agree. That was Adam from the Teppanyaki. <laughs> yeah, Shout out to Adam. <laughs> well, let's go explore the Havre now. We already had breakfast, but there's so many nice little like patisseries we've walked past already. I mean, look at all those cakes and breads and oh, goodies. Look at the French baguettes like oh. over that there. But we're just by St. Joseph's Church. It's got this like massive spire, which is class as a spire. It's quite big. Uh, all that looks like it's lit up, all these little glass panels. We're gonna see if we can go in. Uh, I have tried to go on the website. I didn't see a ticket price or anything. So let's just have a wander around and see if we can take you inside. Right, so we're in. Uh, I don't think you've got pay. We walked through a door. Somebody told us we could come in. But look at those windows. It's absolutely stunning. Look all the way up there. Yeah, we're not talking very loud because uh, it's a church. But look how high it goes. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, 
instead of chairs, do you need like beds for you to lie on and look up? There's so many little glass windows everywhere, all around. Is this a pew or a something? I don't do churches. I haven't been in one for years. Can you imagine getting uh, married in here, it's lovely. Yeah, there's so many seats. Like We've done it once, we're not doing it again, but <laughs> it's beautiful here. But there's so many, like, like oldie seats. It doesn't really feel like a church, because it's like in a big oval, well, a big circle, all the seats are. Yeah, you've got the, like, the spiral oh. staircase at the top there. Oh yeah, you've got like, the old, old organ up there. Yeah, it feels like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a church. Feels like a concert hall or a little like circular theatre. Maybe they do have maybe like concerts. I don't think they'll have a concert in a church, maybe. <laughs> right, so we've just noticed there's a spiral staircase all the way up like the steeple. Is it a steeple? Leave me a comment. I don't know. I wouldn't like go all the way up there. You need access like for the stained glass windows if one break breaks or gets damaged or yeah. clean or something. I suppose you've got access to up there somehow. I wouldn't like to go up like, I don't know, 20 spirals of staircase. Oh, I bet there's pigeons and everything living in there. Oh, they've got a little bit here where you can actually like light a candle. You have to pay for them. Like the little normal tea lights are two euros. They've got like a, it says Notre Dame. I don't know what that says at the bottom in French. But they've got big ones the same. Is this Mary, maybe? Or oh, Jesus? No, it doesn't look like Jesus, it's a woman. Anyway, if you want to light a candle and maybe say a prayer or something. Alright, so that's the church all done with. Cathedral. Sorry, <laughs> cathedral. Correct, you. That's the cathedral all done with. Uh, on to the next random bit we randomly come across. Randomly. Random. Random. So we're just down at this little harbour now. There's all these, but we saw all the boats and thought, oh, is there going to be all like little shops and restaurants? Uh, no. There's a ferry coming in. Is there? Oh, yeah, yeah I did a mess that. Uh, I mean, there's a Hilton Garden Inn, but that's no good to you if you want to drink. So no. if you see these, don't think, oh, there's the bars and restaurants, because there isn't. So, I think we're just going to go that way and see what we find. So, we've just noticed this at the crossing. Doesn't the little wall green man look like an alien? Oh, he's, and, and, he's red, red and he's red one. <laughs> His red friend does as well. We've just seen this white building. Don't know what the white building's called. But, like, we're walking, it's like, oh God, there's a man up there. But I think it's just like, a statue, but for me, it, it does look real. He looks like he's got white bottom or grey bottoms on and like a hoodie on. I was like, no, that's not. Do you think it was one of these that like are like the extremists that like hang from buildings? And yeah, like, I thought it was gonna yeah. be like some. We are in France, so I thought it was gonna be like some parkour runner or something. Yeah. Now we're a little bit closer. I can see it's actually a skateboarder. You can actually see he's like hanging over the ledge on a skateboard. But we've just googled it. And this is Le Volcan. It's a theatre. Uh, I wouldn't have guessed that from the outside. But, uh, and then there's another building over there. I don't know if that's Le Volcan offices or something like that. I don't even think Tony Orr could go down there on a skateboard. I think he would have one day, years ago. That's a bit steep there. I can imagine, like, I know, Steve O doing it. One of the jackass. Yeah, one of the jackass ones would do it. Okay, so that little placard was no help. It doesn't say what it is, but if you look at it now, apparently in, I'm guessing some 1892 to 1894, this famous painting of this point was uh, painted here. Eugene Boudin. Eugene Boudin. I'm Eugene saying Eugene Boudin, Boudin because it sounds funny. But yeah, so that's what it looked like in 1890 summit. And that's what it looks like now. They said that the pitch was supposed to be like where the water met the sky, but obviously that big building, I'm guessing, has been built prior to that, after that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something that. like that, one, yeah. one time. Because now you can't see where the water meets the sky. You can just see a big office, apartment building. Yeah, summit. The drinks have finally been acquired. Uh, if you see these, Mogu Mogu, try one of these. These are like 
This is a watermelon one. I don't know if it's picking up. All them little white bits are bits of fresh coconut. It's very nice, very refreshing. So there's a guy towing some boats with flags on. I'm guessing you might be able to rent these because they were all in the middle. I'm guessing it's still a little bit early for, uh, you know, renting stuff. I think the problem is that we've eaten that much on this cruise that we'd probably tip one of them up or sink it. We'd need one each, definitely. Yeah, we'd need one each. Honestly, I don't know what it is with La Havre and people, well, what you think are people like hanging from places. We've just walked past this bridge and think, oh my God, there's a swing on the bridge. No, there isn't. It's just another like statue. There's like a, a woman there with a hoodie and jeans and trainers on hanging from this bridge. So there's these little Lime scooters. It says Lime and Uber on them. I don't know if you can rent it through the Uber app. I've not seen any, but I did see them on Google Maps. Maybe they're at the seafront. So if you're interested in just jumping on one of them, maybe hopping down to the shopping center, which is still about a mile that way. Be quicker that way. So, La Havre, it seems more like a hub to get off and go further afield. Yeah, there was a lot of excursions to like that you could go to once getting off in La Havre. Yeah, you can, I mean, like we said before, you can go Paris, you can go, oh, was it Santa something? <laughs> Saint something, Saint I don't something. know, somewhere. There, there was, I, I yeah. took a picture, I think, of a, a taxi board that does trips, somebody's exhaust dragging on the road over there. <laughs> um, I mean, there's plenty to do for, you, you could know, for a day, have a wonder, half like, a day, yeah. I mean, we're walking about, say, a mile and a half away from where the buzz drops you off to this shopping centre. This bit here seems a bit more modern. Yeah. There's a little harbour over here with all boats and stuff. There's a shopping centre. We're just having a wander around because in the main bit, there was the church. Yeah. The Volcano Theatre, which, unless you've got a show book, is There wasn't as many like restaurants you. and things as I thought. There was like little bakeries and cafes yeah. Oh yeah, and there was like patisseries that. and stuff, yeah, but like it's not nice like coffee. a big city. No. But, no, you know, but if you want to get off the boat, stretch your legs. Yeah, that's it. Go and have a coffee somewhere in a ca cafe. Maybe pop in a few of the shops. Yeah. But I think maybe um, again we, you know, we did boot this very last minute, so we yeah, didn't have a chance to research much much about it. No. But the MSC excursion guy said when we got off the the buzz in La Havre, he said to head to. I'm just looking at the map though. Map now, half Fleur. He said that was really beautiful there. He did recommend going by coach. I think you could beat boot that just as you got off the buzz, couldn't you? There yeah, was like there's a, like a little there. open mini top, mini top buzz so kind of thing. So he recommended by by coach, by a little mini um, open top buzz. But you can also on the map they gave us when we first got off the ship. It did say that half Fleur is only eight minutes away by train. I've no idea where the train station trust the or anything is. I wouldn't trains in a way if you're not. If you've not got Google not Maps, familiar. if you're not familiar with, especially just, you know, you know, what, if you're a bit confused easily, you're probably better off getting. Yeah, you're probably better off with this. that. But if you're, a, you know, if, if you don't mind, no. like you, you speak French, you know what I mean. You'll be, you could go by yeah, train. It's only eight minutes away. I, I think that's the thing in France as well. Yeah. Is, unlike Spain, where most of them speak some English, in France, like the aren't as bothered. Which if you don't speak French, they aren't as yeah. bothered. But check your map because we're saying to go further afield, but you do, that doesn't necessarily have to be two and a half hours to Paris. There is a few places just outside of La Havre that you could maybe go and visit, like away from the city centre. Yeah. So we're close to the shopping centre now, and there is a few more of these Lime scooters about. I'm guessing all you do is like scan the QR code, pay, pay your unlock fee and kind of pay like per minute or whatever you normally do, literally. But this is the parking for the shopping centre, so there's a load of you. So if you just want a quick way of getting from here to the coach, if you're in a bit of a rush or you've got to, you can't be bothered to walk back like me probably, <laughs> get a scooter. Go on, say it, Kev. Nope. Go on. Another Primark, <laughs> another country. I'm only doing it so I can say I've been in four, different countries Primarks now that's all okay I yeah. know they're in every town centre major town centre in England but you've got to go in aren't you nope yeah oh, so it's a nice little shopping centre it seems quite new H&M super dry uh, what else can I see Quicksilver JD Sports Zara some uh, I was going to say Spanish and some like French shops don't call me Jennifer, spelt with a Y. That's weird. 
Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, no, I know, yeah, but it's Jenny like, just looks weird, doesn't it? Jenny fur. Yeah. Uh, oh, cinnamon though. Cakes. Mmm, when in France. So she's got a bag. Hey, I've had one thing that was reduced, and you've had one thing, so yeah, don't feel your, acting like it's all me. No, I had a four, a four euro pair of shorts. <laughs> so, um, no, it's a nice little, uh, little mall. I don't know if it used to be like a, a port or a docks or a fish, fish place or something. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, it's called the docks shopping centre. Yeah. And then, like, Obviously, this is all new. Yeah, like the new, the ceiling's all new. A bit further around, it was like you could tell it was part of an older building that they completely like remodeled. Yeah, so. but they've got you know Adidas, Timberland, JD Sports, yeah, all them Zara's, H and M. You know, just wanted a couple of like French kind just, of like shops. Yeah, just want to look around. Yeah, there's a random <laughs> KFC, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not a bad place if you just want to come stretch your legs and do a bit of shopping. So we've been to France and we've been to Spain and I'm still excited for an American Fanta grape. I'll never get over Fanta grape. Right, so it's starting to rain. <laughs> we're gonna put his coats on, we're gonna put you in the bag and we're gonna try and find a lovely little patisserie and show you a cake while we're shoving like it in our cake. Just a little one. He did forecast rain for, it's about one o'clock yeah. now and he did forecast rain for after one. So we're expecting a little bit, but Oh well, we've had a we've had a sunny morning while we've walked yeah. around, so so you'll see us when we're eating a cake. Yes. We found a lovely looking little patisserie. We're going to go in, buy some, and then try and find somewhere to eat it. It's raining. We'll probably have to stand under like a cover or something somewhere. Oh, but look at all these cakes. Oh, look at all those. Oh, like a big brownie. Oh, look at that brownie. Oh, like Florentines, macarons, I love a macaron. What's in that brown? I can't see. Chocolate, love a bit. I can't, don't know. Just have one. We'll have a few things. Little breads done there, sandwiches. Oh, croissants. Oh, it all looks amazing. You know, when in France and all that, well, I know it's when in Rome, but you get the gist. So we've had to try a couple of like uh, pastries from a French Patisserie. Patisserie, yeah. oh, what do we have? not cafe, patisserie. Uh, so we've gone for a cheese and onion quiche. This looks like really nice. She has warmed it up for us. She did ask if we wanted You? To... Oh my goodness. Can go away right now. We were... He's that... massive. We were just saying in Bilbao and here now, the seagulls are like three times the size of we get at home. I don't trust it, Kev. Is it going, is it going not? No, oh, it's, it's just it says this is the only me, bench in the park that's dry. I'm going to throw it at him if it comes at me. Right, I'm going. This like this is literally. I'll show you quick. Oh. The only bench in the park that's dry because of this tree. I asked for it cold, but obviously language barriers. These barriers. She did warm it up a bit, but I'm glad it's taken the chill off it. It's not too hot. No, that is I, so nice. I was yeah. carrying that. And it wasn't too hot. It looks nice. It looks cooked mm. really nice. Really nice cheese, the pastry is so nice. That's lovely. Mm. Good job, he loves me. I got a bit carried away. We should have been like sharing half of everything. Yeah, I've had one bite off that. And I kind of, yeah, bit either side. We didn't get a knife, so. It was, it was just too nice. We should have had one each. It's really nice. <laughs> I've just said, Stace, it's not like them dense ones, what you get from the supermarket back home, like yeah, the eggs. So yeah. I'm glad it was warmed up though. I'll let you have a little more bite of the Florentine. Not. So another thing we don't know how to pronounce, but we'll put a picture on screen. I'm watching that big seagull. <laughs> Is this like chocolate, like muffiny cake kind of thing with Nutella on or something? Everything, by the way, was like so cheap. I think how much was the quiche? Two something. Uh, All together, it was like six eighty. Six, six euros yeah, eighty. Six yeah. euros eighty. Yeah. Bargain, really. We had three things. Mmm. Oh, I've got chocolate. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious. It's like a soft, like little chocolate chip cookie cake, but it's the Nutella just stuck all over the roof of my mouth. Oh, is there <laughs> none in the middle? Is it just on top? No, it, it looks like it goes down a little bit. Like it's hollowed out a little bit, or that's how the cake dips in the middle or something, but it's nice. It's just something like, it's light. It's not too heavy considering it's all that chocolate, but. Stacey will enjoy it. 
Right, the seagull's gone. We can feed the little birds. Oh, that one didn't stay around as long as the last one we fed. Typical, the one we don't record doesn't stay around. How's that cake? And now this little bird's being fed. Big bird. <laughs> so we've left the stickiest one till last. A nice big Florentine. I'm hoping it's got big like chunks of cherry and stuff in because I do prefer the ones with fruit in. Mmm. Oh, it's got really dark chocolate on the bottom. Oh no, Stacey, you might not like this. I think I will. <laughs> um, because you don't like dark chocolate much. I do. Or I best not give it you. We were just saying as well that in France, like with the preservatives, they don't tend to have many in there, like bread and things like that. I think it's against the law. Is it? I'm pretty oh. sure it's against the law to put preservatives in baguettes at least. So if you bought like a French baguette or like a loaf of bread, you'd have to eat it that day. Yeah, apparently it's like a brick the next day. We, we wouldn't struggle with that in our house to eat it that day. We <laughs> could live in not. France because that we, we'd be fine with we that. We love bread. All kinds of bread. We <laughs> bought it. Ooh, I could eat some bread and butter. Stacey's feeling very guilty. Not guilty, because she didn't do this. Sad. We're feeding a one-legged pigeon. Oh, he's got a second one. He's just bent back. Yeah, he's, he's got an injured second leg. Oh, that's dead tight. So we're feeding him. Chuck him some more now. Oh. Stacey kept saying, chuck him some. I'm like, I bet mine. I'm getting completely stoked by the tree above. I mean, we're not doing too bad. If you look there, you can see the, like the, the rain line. Oh, it's dead tight on this pigeon. Like, <laughs> Where's that seagull gone? There's two seagulls now. But Keep the thing them. is, you have to chuck it right at the pigeon. Keep your strength up and you might recover better. There you go. But that's it, chuck it under him. I've just chucked it if he's had it before. He can't move quick. No. Oh. Oh, I think it'll heal. Says so he's going to want to take a pigeon home now. Can we fit him in this Primark bag? <laughs> Right, so we're all done in La Havre now. We're just sheltering under a tree because yeah. it's still rainy. So we're going to jump on the bus and get back onto the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, uh, it's nice for you could do with like a few hours around here. Yeah. Uh, it's not like a full day experience. Uh, you, it's more of a hub, like we explained before, to just go to other places, really. And if you did like lots of cruises, and as we said at the beginning, La Havre is a very popular uh, port of like. A, to stop at you couldn't keep getting off here you'd have to go like further afield yeah. or you could stay on the ship and make the most of the facilities on there exactly but this was our first time here so of course we wanted to get off and explore yeah 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 glad we did but uh, like i said it's rainy now yes so uh i don't want to get the camera all wet again oh no we don't want to repeat <laughs> to norway if you didn't watch that go back and watch the troll car and all <laughs> but uh yeah thanks for watching guys if yeah. you liked it please hit that thumbs up comment Yada yada yada, subscribe, and all that jive. And uh, au revoir from Lahav. Yeah, au revoir. <laughs>